DeSantis continues war against pro-LGBTQ plus Disney after embarrassing defeat. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is ramping up his war on Disney and threatening to build a prison next to the Magic Kingdom. He also suggested raising taxes or putting a competing theme park near Disney World. It all started when Disney objected to a new law that forbids teachers from discussing sexual orientation and gender identity in Florida schools. The governor tried to take over the board that governs Disney, but the company outmaneuvered him to preserve its independence. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on Monday threatened to build a prison or a competing theme park near the Magic Kingdom or raise taxes on Walt Disney World to retaliate against the company for resisting a state takeover of its special taxing, taxing district. Laying out his plan to exact retribution against the House of Mouse, the Florida Republican said the GOP-controlled state legislature would take steps to formally nullify Disney's attempt to maintain control of the district through last-minute maneuvering. DeSantis said lawmakers will advance a bill that will, quote, make sure that people understand that you don't get to put your own company over the will of the people of Florida, end quote. The clash between Florida and its largest employer started last year when the state passed a new law that limited classroom instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity. Disney objected to the bill and vowed to help get it repealed. DeSantis responded by targeting the Reedy Creek Improvement District. Last week, DeSantis said Disney could take a hike if it didn't like how the state was governing. Speaking Monday on an Orlando radio program, DeSantis called the agreement defective and suggested it was not <clears throat> properly noticed according to the state law. Disney has maintained that it followed state meeting laws. So I'm just thinking about this, about no doubt Ron and Crazy Casey, who have more in common with Jim and Tammy Faye Baker than they ever could with John and Jack Kennedy, would love to resurrect, pun intended, the failed Heritage USA Christian theme park in the Orlando area. On the other hand, Building a prison guarantees a future home for the DeSantis spawn and the life of crime for which they are all destined. <laughs> DeSantis has his eyes on becoming a member of the Hall of Presidents, but I really think that he's going to end up in the Haunted Mansion yeah. because they're finally overstepping themselves. Mm -hmm. I've, I, if any of you have been with me on other episodes over the years, I've been saying, you know, here comes the wolf. The wolf is at the door. Be careful. It's going to get worse. And it is going to get worse. We're still only a few months away from gay clubs being raided and arrests being made. But this is the point where continuing to go after Disney, continuing to be so extreme, it's not going to water down their base. Their base loves it. What it's finally going to do, though, is push the majority, that silent majority, to turn out at the polls. We're not going to see a change in Florida for a little while yet, mm -hmm. um, but DeSantis's hope, uh, hopes of the presidency, uh, I think, become less every day. And, I mean, granted, I haven't recognized Republicans in close to a decade now, but let's be honest, going after not only the state's biggest employer, but one of the biggest employers in the country, Disney, because let's face it, they employ people outside of Greater Orlando and uh, Anaheim, California. Right. So you're up there and you're saying, we're going to punish you if you don't do exactly what we say. Oh, my God, there are going to be Republicans in Utah who are going to be like, no, no, we don't want that, you know. <laughs> and second of all, there is already a competing park. There are multiple competing parks in and around Orange okay. County, Florida. Right. So go ahead and build another one, you know, make prison land. You know, I, I don't know, but... No, but that you know, and it's, listen it's when he when he says that he's going to build a prison. Okay, your your governor just said I'm going to build a prison next to our biggest tourist uh, destination. What are you saying? You're going to put our tourists in danger? Yeah, and it's like is that what care. you're saying? And like I and and when I when I think about it, okay, you know, of course this is all very extreme, and this guy seems to be in his own world. But what I want to say to all the GOPers out there who are listening to this broadcast right now, this 
creates precedent, okay, right. in our court systems. Once it creates precedent, then we can argue for days, and depending on how good your lawyer is, then I guess then we'll just keep on building on that. But if there is no precedent, then 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 this now you're arguing this new case where there's nothing to compare it to, and this is what you're doing. But we don't understand. They think that they're just coming after us. No. If they can control Disney World, they're going to come after you. Yeah, they're going to come after you, Pillow Man, and you, so-and-so, and you, Donald Trump, and you, and you. So that's what it really... Th th we. It's twisted up right now because people think that this is just about us, the LGBTQ community, but it's not. It's about creating precedent so they can control us all, all the people. So DeSantis doesn't speak on behalf of my voice. Maybe he speaks on the on the behalf of his voice in his room. Snow White called. She wants her dopey back. <laughs> <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.